Are you headed to the Island Marais in the French Polynesia? Well, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video before you go because in this week's video, we're gonna give you 10 things you need to know before going to the Island Marais. Cue the intro. What's up, YouTube? Trevi from the Adventure Buddies, the modern travel family, bringing you another video filled with tips, tricks, and inspiration to make sure you maximize your next family adventure, like we always do here at the Adventure Buddies. So the first thing that you should know is that while the island of Marais is one of the more popular ones in the French Polynesia, it is only one out of over a hundred different islands that make up this country. So the other popular islands are going to be the main island of Tahiti as well as Bora Bora. So the second thing you should know about Marais is that it isn't that hard to get to. So it is an eight hour flight from LAX to Tahiti, then about a 30 to 45 minute ferry to get to the island of Marais. Marais is actually one of the closest islands to the main island of Tahiti. At number three, you probably already know this, but the island of Marais is a popular honeymooners destination, mainly because they have those highly Instagrammable overwater bungalows. So there's actually three hotels that offer the overwater bungalows in the island of Marais, one of which is the Hilton Marais. So if you're looking for a full review of the Hilton Marais, click the link above here for just that. So the fourth thing to understand about the island of Marais is that they have two distinct seasons. First off is the wet season. This is when it rains a ton or rains unpredictable. So that's gonna be from November to April. Then from May to October, that's gonna be your dry season. And if you are looking for the whales, whale season is typically between July to October. So the fifth thing to know about the island of Marais, as we talked about whales in our last point, this is an incredible spot to whale watch. And so we're not talking just about watching the whales from the boat, but the island of Marais is actually one of three locations in the entire world that allows you to snorkel with the humpback whale. So if you want a full video on how or what to expect when snorkeling with humpback whales, click the link above here for that particular video. So the sixth thing that you should know about traveling to the island of Marais is that tipping culture is not a thing that we're typically used to in the States. So if you are looking to tip, it's more than appreciated, and we did based on the level of service, but tipping is not expected, but again, it's always appreciated. So continuing on with being from the United States, the seventh thing you need to know is that you will need a universal adapter to make sure you can plug in all your electronics. So if you are looking for that electronic adapter, we highly suggest you heading down to the description down below to check out our Amazon storefront, both for this adapter that we recommend, but for any and all of your travel gear needs. So the eighth thing that we feel you need to know is that it's fairly easy to get around in the island of Marais. In reality, there's only one main road that goes around the entire island, and we often think that you don't really need to leave your resort. And if you do, taxis are readily available and relatively affordable. But we did find that most excursions and even some restaurants provide free round trip transportation to and from your hotel. So the ninth thing that we feel you need to know and understand about the Isle of Marais is you may have guessed it, the official language is French, which makes sense because it's part of the French Polynesian Islands. So you're gonna see a ton of signs, ton of French being spoken, but don't be alarmed because we as English only speaking travelers had no problem getting around. And we actually found that most of the people that we interacted with nearly had perfect English. So we were perfectly fine in our element traveling around the Isle of Marais. And then the 10th thing that we feel you need to know about the island of Marais is that there is a ton of things to do and a ton of venture to be had, whether you're on land or out at sea. So we're talking about going on ATVs, we're talking about hiking to waterfalls, we're talking about snorkeling with whales and sharks and scuba diving and jet skiing, etc. And so there are a ton of adventures for you to have in the island of Marais. And so this is just not the spot for you to kick back, relax, and lay on the sand. Definitely you can do that because the beaches here are beautiful, but there are a ton of adventures to be had had at the island of Marais, and we highly recommend you check it out, this beautiful island in the French Polynesia. So there you guys have it, 10 things that we feel you need to know about the island of Marais before you go. Drop a comment if you feel we missed something or you have a question about this island in particular. While you're at it, please consider giving us that big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button for more travel tips and adventures. And most importantly, remember, life's an adventure. What are you going on it with?